Hey guys, it's Mike of WordPress How To's and today is video number four of my WordPress security tips videos. This one's uh, concerning security plugins. Now I'm going to sh show you a little bit about two different plugins that I have used, one I'm currently using. This is the one I'm currently using and I'm going to show you how to install and configure that one. Uh, and this is another one I'll show you a little bit about called Better, Better WP Security. Both I've used this one before also. Uh, both these plugins have really high ratings and what's more important is their author owner uh, updates them. is very diligent about keeping them updated for the latest versions of WordPress and trying to I guess keep up them updated and maybe improving them. So either one of those uh, I would recommend. So we will go to our my demo site that I've been using for these videos here. You're going to go to your WP Admin Dashboard and then over on the left under Plugins, let's click on Add New. I'll show you the details of the Better WP, oops, Better WP Security. And I'll click on Details. Now you notice that it was updated just four days ago. So, like I said, the author uh, keeps this one updated uh, very, very well. So it's compatible up to the newest version of WordPress. It's been downloaded almost 400,000 times. It has really good ratings. It has over a thousand ratings. But so I don't think you could go wrong using that one. Um, this, that's not the one I use though. So I'm going to show you the one I use and then go about configuring it. Bulletproof Security. We'll do a little search for the plugins. And one thing I should mention though before you do uh, install Bulletproof Security if you do so is make sure your permalinks are, are, are updated here. You go to settings and then permalinks if you're not familiar. And I've already got the post name structure in mind. So um, Like I said, I don't. I don't believe the bulletproof security doesn't work very well if you don't have your permalinks configured. So anyway, we'll go back to the plugins, add new, and we'll look for bulletproof security. Search the plugins. Okay, and I'll show you the details on this one. Okay, this was updated uh, 15 days ago. And it is compatible up to the newest version. Has been downloaded almost 500,000 times, and has really good ratings also. So we're just going to click on install now for this one, and activate. Okay, just make sure that you, if you're going to follow along with me, make sure that you have your your uh, permalinks like I just mentioned uh, enabled. Now I'm going to click on, the, there'll be a little menu over on the left in the dashboard dashboard there, but I'm going to click on BPS, Bulletproof Security. Now the first things that you want to do, I think anyway, and we'll go through it anyway, um, first things we want to do is, uh, let's see, back up and restore. First thing we're going to do is back up the HT access files. Okay, we're going to back those up. And then we'll back up this. I'm not sure if it probably should do. Then we'll go, we'll come back and back up again. I'm not sure which one you should do first, but to tell you the truth. But now what you want to do is you come over to the security modes tab. First, you're going to create your default HT access file. Okay. Now, in the same under the bulletproof security modes, click on the create secure .ht access file. So we'll create that one and we'll click OK. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to go back to the backup and restore tab and see what happens. Okay, it was your backed up, backed up. Okay, it looks like everything is backed up. Now I'm going to click on the backup BPS master HT access files again just because, let's see here, there's no. I'm going to back that one up again. I'm a big fan in backing up. You know, I'm not really sure if this is necessary, but I'm going to go over to the security status. Okay, it was, 
Okay, okay, we have to now we have to activate our our, our security mode. So first of all, the first one activate website root folder HT access security mode. So click on this little radio button, pull up proof bulletproof mode and click activate click OK okay now under that is the website WP admin folder HT access security mode so click on the radio bu bulletproof mode button click activate okay we've got that done I'm going to then click over to the uh, security status again you know, and it looks like everything is green to go. But I'm going to go back to the backup and restore and click backup BPS master HT access files again, just because I thought we activated something. Okay, it might be overkill, but there we go. Okay, it looks like everything is green to go. So that's what you do to activate the, the bulletproof security mode, security plugin. Now, this right here, file and folder permissions. Um, it has some recommended permissions which usually are a little too stringent for mo most hosting uh, services but I'm going to cover this in my next video file permissions so thanks for watching guys and take care